farmers living along Debe Trace Debe are calling on the government to compensate them for their losses following flooded that resulted after the passage of Tropical Storm Brett last month. Leader of the Highway Reroute Movement, Dr. Wayne Koblasing, says government must act promptly to save one of the food baskets of the nation. Farmers along Debe Trace Debe are blaming the incomplete construction work on the Solomon Ho Choi Highway extension to Point Fortin at Debe for losses in hundreds of thousands of dollars worth in crops and the livestock. Devon Ann Sugrim, a registered farmer with the government, says he cultivates about seven acres of land. His crops include oranges, Portugal's, okros, bodhi and peas, to name a few. It have a low point where they finish. And when the flood company advised water from all Maruga, St. Mary's, the rock road, clack road, all this water coming through right here, back of us here. And that started to flood all the yard, because they live a low point there. And look, today is one month and one week the water going on yet. You still have water, I lost everything, all my crops, everything lost. And I ain't get a bottle of water from nobody yet. Not because, you know, my house had flood, but the land flood. And nobody ain't say nothing. Another farmer, Bikari Sigobin, says in addition to crops such as okra and same, he lost a lot of livestock. Because I lost over $300,000 in Kaskaru. It's too big pond that I have. Two years me I touch a fish. They, then feeding them the $180 for a bag of feed. Right? All that just gone in vain. Money that I spent to dig my pond and, and the money I was to be making, I lost in my income. Is that giving me partly or everything in life since I come here? Leader of the Highway Reroute Movement, Dr. Wayne Koblalsing, blames the embankment along the incomplete highway in Debi Trace for the disaster. He says the water from nine rivers running from east to west towards the mangrove and the Gulf of Paria are trapped by the embankment. Dr. Koblalsing says people have been farming on the eastern side of the embankment for over 100 years. He says if the embankment is left on a permanent basis, the area will never return to any kind of agriculture or farming. He says he intends to approach the Minister of Works with a recommendation to solve the flooding problem. Remove this embankment. We don't want this embankment. All this embankment is built from um, aggregate, from the northern range, and from Valencia. So treat this like a dump. Treat this like a quarry. Treat this like a laydown yard. Mine back all of this embankment here, this 15 feet high, take it to the point 14 to San Fernando Highway and use it there. That's the best use that you could do. Dr. Kovla Singh says the former administration did not adhere to the James Armstrong report, which said not to proceed with any highway until you do a hydrological study, a social impact assessment, and an environmental cost-benefit analysis. 